Our clients have largely remained silent, allowing the process to work its way through. But they can't remain silent anymore when the city goes after them in this way by firing them for standing up for what's right and just. They're using me as an example for anyone that is currently involved or may be thinking about bringing an action towards the city. If, if I can be, you know, discharged in 30, from 32 years, then, then, then no one's safe. A Richmond police officer involved in a racial discrimination lawsuit against the chief of police says he is being fired as a form of retaliation. This is Captain Cleveland Brown. He is one of seven African-American officers involved in the lawsuit that alleges, among other things, police chief Chris Magnus used racial slurs when addressing black officers. Following their attorney's advice, none of the seven officers has spoken to the press since the discrimination lawsuit was filed more than two years ago. However, faced with the possibility of losing his job, Captain Brown decided to speak out. Crawford's Hazik Badyun has the story you will only see here. The underlying cause of this action and this termination is my bringing fourth, the racial discrimination lawsuit. Captain Cleveland Brown is a 32-year veteran of the Richmond Police Department. He recently received this, a notice of intent to terminate his job, something he told me Police Chief Chris Magnus warned would happen if Brown or any of these black officers pursued legal action against the chief for racial discrimination. His response to us was is that if we decided to levy a charge against him of racism, that we better kill him and not wound him because there's nothing worse than a wounded animal. And that if we brought those charges to bear, that he would make our lives, he would destroy our careers. Captain Brown is the first of the officers involved in the lawsuit to receive a job termination notice. There are rules of fairness that are set forth in the Civil Service Code. However, Captain Brown's attorney, Chris Dolan, says the cause of the firing is not consistent with state labor law because it includes previous disciplinary action that goes beyond the statute of limitation, five years. This termination notice lists incidents as far back as 1980. In this case, the fact that they have reached back over 20 years to try to piece together some sort of a plausible excuse for this retaliation shows the level of desperation that they'll go to to kill the messenger. I contacted the city manager's office regarding the story and was told the city does not comment on personnel issues. Chief Magnus did not return my calls. Hazik Medyun, Cron 4 News.